So our, the other focal point of our project is we are trying to study and understand molt and um, with resident birds because in North America it's you know been well studied for hundreds of years. The bird banding lab has been around for over 100 years and um, there's this nifty book called the Pile Guide which is um, the North American equivalent to identifying birds by sex and age in hand. Um, so in Central America that's really not worked on right now. Um, so that's one of the things we're trying to fill that niche um, by studying birds. Um, so we kind of look at family accounts and species accounts in North America and try to correlate them with here, with their breeding and summer schedule, um, and try to take a look at some of the molts. Um, let's see this bird. So this is a male American pygmy kingfisher. Why is he male? Uh, because it doesn't have a green throat band. Okay. The female. Um, so um, I'm taking a look at the wing right now to see if there's um, possibly um, anything in the wing that could show maybe a molt limit. Um, a lot of the times birds will molt you know, a secondary tract here and they won't molt primary coverts or they might miss something in the lula. This bird actually looks like it has a complete molt and it's an adult. Um, and this is also one of our more beautiful birds here. Um, you wouldn't believe this is actually a kingfisher. Um, <laughs> this this, this kingfisher is going to weigh about as much as our warbler. Um, this warbler right here. Um, and this is actually a specialized bird to um, you know, fish. So this, this beautiful bill is made to pierce fish in these streams that are along here. Um, so now there's no... Uh, so it's, it's unknown. Because um, right now we don't fully understand their complete molt schedule. So we don't want to make any guesses we don't know about. Um, so most likely these birds in their first year um, molt everything and they have a complete first pretty basic molt. Um, something like a warbler doesn't and a lot of the times in the uh, Alula track um, which is right here they will have a molt limit. This bird is also um, a complete bird because he's over three years old. But to tell the difference between hatch year birds and after hatch year birds um, we look for these molt limits um, and in warblers um, it's in the Alula track.